Hello, I'm Josh Harmon, and this is another tutorial. In this one, I'm showing you guys how to um, animate water from the open ocean tutorial. It's very easy and very simple, so first I'm going to do, I'm just going to load up Animation Master and open our previous project. And I have to locate that real fast. And here we are, just the uh, same thing as from the previous tutorial. And um, let's do a quick preview. Make sure everything's still nice. And there we go. And all I have to do to animate it is some more choreography on Project Workspace. Go to our water, press this little thing right here. It's the show more drivers button thingy. Here we go, we have a shortcut to water bump, transform, translate. Right now, we're just going to um, set a keyframe for all properties. Let's go down here. And let's just scroll. Let's go to two seconds. X, translate one, just one feet, one feet. Moves really fast. There we go. We have a nice, let's go to translate right here. Kind of a nice sort of a translation there, and basically just save that and just shoot out a quick render. So that doesn't need high quality. I'm just showing you how to do it. So since they're really slow, I like, really fast render them. Pause it here, and I'll show you the finished thing. And um, here's our finished product. Let's load up quick time. Stretch it a little bit. And there you have it. It's Really easy to do. It's just using a fractal and you just translate it, and as you can see, it looks really realistic. So, and though if you're going to make like waves and open ocean sort of like a stormy kind of thing, you'd have to adjust the displacement, and I haven't experimented in that. I do know that if you did use those methods through displacement mapping, it would just be really long render times. And maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. But um, thank you for watching this add-on tutorial. And um, if you have any troubles, contact the Hash forums. Just post a thread there at hash.com slash forums. Thank you for watching, and I'm Josh Harmon.